All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here today with Matt from Polar Star Outdoors. He has a YouTube channel. We're gonna link it down in the description below. You guys should go check his channel out. He's got uh, a lot of trolling videos, some hunting videos, right? Yeah, some sure. hunting stuff. Uh, he's got some, I saw some videos you make in your log cabin too. So that's Absolutely. pretty cool. A lot of outdoor stuff um, right in Maine as well. So go check out his channel. We're out here today doing some trolling trying to catch some rainbow trout. We got a planer board out here. We got a downrigger set up. Yeah, we're using a mixture of Northeast troller spoons and some crankbaits. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get on some fish. So stay tuned, we'll show you guys what we're doing and enjoy. So as I'm editing this video, I realize I didn't really explain everything that's going on here. Uh, so I know some of you are newer to trolling, so I'm putting on a lead core line. It's on a fly rod or a fly reel attached to a spinning rod. And we're running it on a planer board. So you can see Matt had just had this aluminum tower built with some rod holders in it and a pulley system to run his planer board out. So all we had to do was let some line out. We were fishing anywhere from one to four colors. Then we put a planer board clip on the line, clip it to the planer board line and run it right out the line. And that just keeps the lines off the boat away from each other without creating a tangled mess. I don't know if that's a fish or if that's. Oh, that's fish. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is a big one. <laughs> Holy. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh, they, they get big. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that that's is. huge. Yeah, that's... Oh. That is. Jesus. Wow. He's all beat up, too. Yeah. That's funny. Man, those things are full balls. Yeah, that would be a good filet fish. <laughs> uh. Oh, it didn't pop off. Oh, oh he's on there. Oh, they're not very big. Nope. Oh, it's better than I thought. I had a lot of head shakes at first there, but. Hot large mouth. Well, there's another one off the list. <laughs> it's good to know. Crappie. Man, did we get some warm water fish. We got into a handful of crappie. We couldn't seem to get away from them for a little while. We tried all kinds of different lures, tried different water yeah. columns. Wow. <laughs> ambitious little guy. Matt even that. put on a really big jointed crankbait and we we're still catching crappy on it, so we decided yeah, to move. Totally depth. I like that crankbait. Look at that thing. <laughs> Jeez. Slap <laughs> side. Oh goodness. Whoop. Look right there. Hey that, that looks good. Yeah. I didn't even have it was right on the surface. Well, maybe we should be running a fly rod. Oh, that's a rainbow. Nice. Yeah, I just gotta keep us oh. straight. There we go. Nice. Okay. That's a that's interesting. That's a race throw. Yeah. I mean that was that must have been like a foot under the surface, or maybe even less. Right on the top. Not bad. Yeah. It's, it's a fish. It, it's one on the smaller side. Yeah. Hey, there's one. Yeah. Trout. Is it a trout? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a little brown. 
Better than a crappy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, he took that. Oh yeah, it snapped right off. Watching it. And that was down, you still run them two colors? Two colors, yeah. Like hey, here we go. True, very true. Nice. Here we go. That's the best one so far. So far. <laughs> well, well, quick release. All right, guys. So that first fish that we got was on the Northeast Troller, size 60 spoon, the hammered blue and silver. And we're fishing it just under the surface. It wasn't even it wasn't even on the downrigger yet. It was just kind of going off the back of the boat. So that fish hit it right on the surface. The second fish, uh, the brown, actually took this pink lure here. The sun kind of came out, so it put on something a little bit brighter. And that's what they seem to like, so. This is the other spoon that uh, we've caught a rainbow on so far. Uh, Matt likes this spoon quite a bit for rainbows. He says it's a Northeast Troller product. I don't know the name of it. I'll have to ask Christian, but we'll leave uh, Northeast Troller down in the description below so you guys can go check out some of their lures, trolling lures, if you're uh, looking to buy some. All right, guys, that wraps up this week's video. Pretty short one for you this week, but it wasn't for lack of trying. We were out on the water for a little over eight hours, probably like eight and a half hours. And it was a grind. We marked a ton of fish. We tried literally everything. Every depth, different lures, different rods, different techniques. We did get a few smaller ones, but we were hoping for a couple bigger bites, and they just never came. But that's fishing. I figured I'd still make a quick video for you guys so you can see what we've been up to. So stay tuned. We got a lot of videos coming this fall. You guys should go check out Matt's channel and his Instagram, Polar Star Outdoors. I'll link it down in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one.